Hello boys and girls. Today we're going to be talking about graphing again. And today we will be using the graph to answer questions. Here's a picture showing the votes that I got when I asked people about their favorite foods. Now let me show you a graph that I put together showing the results of this picture. In this bar graph we can see exactly how many people voted pizza, cheeseburger, and taco. Now let's see if we can answer some questions about the graph while looking at it. Our first question is, what would be a good title for this graph? Well here let's make a space for the title and now let's think, hmm, what is this graph showing? Is this graph showing how many pizzas were eaten and how many cheeseburgers were eaten and how many tacos were eaten? No. Is this graph showing how many pizzas and cheeseburgers and tacos I need to make? No. This graph is showing our favorite foods, the favorite foods that were voted on. I think that's a great title for this graph. Favorite foods. Great job. Next question. Which food was chosen as favorite the most? Let's look at our graph. This one's pretty easy to see because we just need to look for the most filled in bar. Is it pizza, cheeseburger, or taco? It's cheeseburger. Great job. And there's my answer. Cheeseburger was chosen as favorite the most. Next question. Which food was chosen as favorite the least? This is easy. Now we need to look for the shortest bar. Do you see the shortest bar? There it is. That means that taco was chosen as favorite the least. Last question. How many more people chose cheeseburgers than pizza? This is tricky. When we are asked a question about comparing two things or how many more or how many fewer, we need to look at both rows. This question is asking about cheeseburger votes and pizza votes. So let's look at the cheeseburger row and the pizza row. I see how many people voted cheeseburger and how many people voted pizza. Can you count how many people voted cheeseburger and pizza? Cheeseburger votes were seven. Pizza votes were five. And if I do seven minus five to figure out the answer, I find that it's two. So I can use that math to figure out the answer or I can look at these empty spaces right here to figure out the difference between the cheeseburger votes and the pizza votes. There were two more people who voted for cheeseburger than pizza. So our answer is two more people voted for cheeseburgers than pizza. Great job. So remember, boys and girls, you can use the graph to compare data and answer questions. You can do this, boys and girls.